Hello buddies, this is Game Night. Welcome to this video where I will show you how to improve the graphics in Necromunda on the Hive Wars. Now you might not have thought about it, but there are some things in the game that um, doesn't look too well. If you look at the character models especially, I think that they have sort of a blur to them. And I've been thinking about this um, for, well, since the early access. And I think I've found a really good solution with Reshade. So I'm going to activate it and you can see for yourself. There we go. So this is, this is my Reshade setup. So I can try and turn it off. As you can see, there's kind of a fogginess going in over... Uh, the entire thing actually background the textures on on the walls but also on the character models it also enhances all the colors um, not so that it's too much but i think i think it does a good job in setting the colors a bit more apart you can see the greens here as well look at that it's, it's very easy to see when you when you look out into the map that the fogginess is there so this really this enhances it greatly in my opinion you can see the blues there gets a bit blurry just dim with the original setting so how how to do this okay so uh, if you want to install reshade and use my my preset here all you got to do is Make sure you exit the game and then you go to reshade.me, click download and click on the green button down here, download reshade 4.7.0 at the time and then click the exit file that comes up. Click here to select the game. If you can't see your game Necromunda here in the list, click browse and then you go to the steam common steam apps common then you go to necromunda under hive wars go to necromunda binaries win 64 and find necromunda dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe and i'll put this line here in the description down below also a link to reshade.me of course you click open and then you click the direct 3d 10 dash, uh, slash 11 slash 12 and i have mine installed already but i'm just going to click update you click install and then you can choose which of the effect packages to uh, to install i usually just uncheck all and then check all so i have everything it's going to ask a couple of times there there it's going to download that as well, and that as well, and that as well, as that, and that, yeah, that, yeah, that, and that. As I said, there's a lot of them. Just get them all. Um, I didn't actually take all of these, so just click OK. All right. And then you click close here on that and then you go to this link down below the sfx dot the lazy dot net slash game slash preset slash 10 6 there's going to be a link in the description down below this is where i put my preset for you guys to to download so as you can see i've, I've put some screenshots here you can check that out see what it really does how it changes things you can click this and see it in big screen and you can go back by clicking here and then you click download preset now the problem is that the download preset actually oh hold on allow download preset there we go it actually downloads a dot text file so i'm going to show this here now what you need to do is to make sure that you 
remove this text and write any instead. It's going to say that it might become unusable, but yeah, it's fine. There we go. Then you copy this file into where we installed the reshade. That was in common, Necromunda under high wars, Necromunda binaries, Win64, and then just pop it in here. There you go. So this is now, you can rename it to uh, something a bit shorter if you want. But uh, this is now what you want to activate in game. So let's head on in to the game and I'll show you guys how to activate it. All right, here we are back in game. You then, after it loads up, you hit home and it should show this here. And you need to go through like a, a preliminary setup thing, but you can just choose from up here, you pick my any file. And then if the effects are disabled, you might need to go, I've set like a key so I can toggle it here and you can change the overlay key as well if it is annoying for you where it is. Then you hit escape and you hit end or it should be activated already depending on, on how it's set up. And yeah, you can see instantly it changes everything. It shouldn't have too much of an impact on your FPS either. It seems to be small things uh, maybe like four or five FPS from my experience. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you will enjoy the new look of Necromunda on the Hive Wars. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that sub button and uh, follow my Twitch channel if you haven't already. I'll be live there with lots more Necromunda and other games. Thank you so much. See you soon. Have a wonderful game night.